we are back one more time once again. Welcome. This is a brand new episode of The, the Jasmine, Jasmine Show. Show. Let's get this thing over with, man. Come on. It's the last episode. It's episode 12, 12. I think, right? Uh, the name of this episode, obviously we're here to talk about the family Chantel. Uh, a little bit disappointed that it's over, but we'll be back. Big cliffhangers. We'll be back. and Not a super big cliffhanger. Uh, mad at the world. And I wonder who that could be describing in this episode. It's because a little bit of everybody's kind of mad at the world, but I think it's going to be about Nicole this time. It's the finale, folks. Very happy to have you. First off, obviously, if you're watching us right now, we appreciate you. Please make sure that you... Like, comment, and subscribe. Of course. Thank you to all of our brand new subscribers. We appreciate you. Uh, thank you for hanging out with us for the Family Chantel journey. We can't wait to get back to it with you. And... Fortunately and unfortunately, we'll be getting back into our Married at First Sight journey. Uh, next week. Dang it. Next week. <laughs> next week. So if you watch that show, uh, please feel free to hit us up. Let us know how you feel about it. Check out. Look out for our recaps and reviews. And if there's any other shows that you want us to talk about, please feel free to hit us up. But uh, let's get into it, man. Uh, well, Before we get into it, uh, I have a quick another people enjoyed our clip last time. So just let's just sit back and watch this for it's only 15 seconds. Okay. Tonight on the season finale of The Family Chantel, yes. everything will change. My relationship with Mr. Sober. The Family Chantel season finale. That was it. That was the whole thing. On TLC. That was the whole That was thing. basically the whole that show. Was it. That, was <laughs> the, that was the whole, that was the whole show. I, I was just road. looking at my notes. I got three lines and then nothing after that. So we started the episode uh, with the wonderful Chantel. Uh, admitting that she might have been a little out of line about some things in the past. That's what I said. She just needed to like support him in a way that he wanted to be supported, which mm -hmm. was, he later said that he just wanted a hug, you know? Aww. He just wanted some affection. Is that all he wanted? Yes. Just a hug and affection? Some love and affection. He never meant to give you the wrong impression. Uh, but yeah, I really thought that that was, uh, that was really cool, you know, that she came out and was like, hey, uh, you know, I could have been wrong. You know, it doesn't really happen for Chantel that often. So it was nice to see. It was really nice to see. Uh, I also uh, I also was just happy in general that she that she was like, yo. I'm bugging. I was bugging. Like, that doesn't, we don't get that. She apologized we in don't front get of that. her. And then she apologized in front of her, her family. That's I was going to say, like. full-on apology. We got to see, uh, we got to see uh, Karen show some some love and some affection for Pedro also, right? Which doesn't necessarily happen. Too I so feel much. like Miss Karen tries to show a lot of like love to Pedro. At least she calls him Eho every single time she Eho. sees him. That's sweet. And asks That's him sweet. how he's doing or what's going on. So you, I feel like she's she had is completely different than she was before. I agree. Because before it was like something up. You know, the family scheming, which in this episode, I feel like the main thing we got is Pedro realized that his family is nuts, which he thought that family Chantel was nuts, but yes. they're a different kind of crazy. Yeah. They're more like in your business crazy. Okay. All right. And there's a lot of business but they, to get but, into. They're, but they're a good, a good solid family though. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. The family Chantel, uh, as crazy as they are, you know, they just too nosy. They... They be in people's business. And honestly, now that you mention it, that seems to be the the main cause of all the dramas. It, it people is. People being in somebody's yeah. business. Now, uh, just to go back to your main point of about uh, Miss Karen being nice to Pedro and stuff like that, I think you, you are right on that. I think that we haven't seen too many opportunities for her to be on Pedro's side. Mm -hmm. So for the most part, anytime we've seen something, it's been her taking Chantel's side about whatever it is. Yeah. If Pedro's involved or not. But uh, back to the family and Pedro. Yeah, man. Sorry you had to realize. I, I think I tweeted earlier that uh, he's just realizing that his family is crazy. I don't know how yeah. after all this time you didn't realize. But I guess, you know, the family Chantel is an easier name to say for a TV show as opposed to uh, La Familia Jimeno y Everett y uh, Junior y Jonathan. All of that. Right? All of yeah, that. all those. You know what I'm saying? Y Pedro y... Lord ja, have mercy. you know, but uh, I thought that I thought that it was really it was really nice to see them come together because I feel like if anybody, if anybody, you know, needs to be the person standing up for Pedro in this time, 
it's Miss Karen with these fisted cuffs. You know what I'm saying? The whole Rhythm Nation Young was Rhythm her. Nation. She was ready. She was ready to throw down. Now, why? Why Why would she possibly Because be? in the middle of their little moment, mm-hmm. who came in? Nicole and and Miss Lydia came in. And, and she Nicole, came to fight. Nicole came to fight her. Hello, bitches. And I'm she, like, was it her that was saying she that? She said it. Yes. I'm like, first of all, that's not a greeting. Right. Like that, straight up. You clearly want to fight. She came to fight. She's positioned. Hello, proud. bitches. Who you call her bitches? Yeah. You're not calling my mama no bitches. Where were I was like, I was like, she meant playas, right? She meant like. No, she didn't mean bitches. Oh, she meant. She mean bitches. Putas. Yes, putas. Mm, see, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how to feel about that. I didn't appreciate that. So yes, hi bitches. Hello. <laughs> I, I. That's all you gonna do? That's what. I feel like your favorite thing is, hi, BJ. Oh, why well, I got to <laughs> That's your shit. Was she doing that? I don't know what she, I wasn't, I she thought it was Karama. She walked in lo- looking like a stick. <laughs> and, she did, uh, with boobies. Yeah, stick with boobies. Uh, I thought yeah. it was Karima saying all that. I thought she was coming. Karima wasn't even there. See, and that is And that's what, I was like, how you gonna throw Karima's name in the mix? And she not even there to defend herself. Yeah. So I thought Karama was coming and stirring up mess. No. And I, that's probably why nobody liked my tweet about her, uh, Nicole and Karama then. Because I thought they both came oh, in. Oh, no. It was her and Lydia I thought they in. both came in ready to rumble. Why would Karama come? I, to start some ish. You know what I'm saying? To talk about, yeah, me and Pedro laid up with the, with the Brugal and the Platanos and the... Pandi Playa with the... See, now I'm doing it. Beaches. Yes, in the beaches. <laughs> right? Oh, damn, they had beaches? Anywho, I didn't like how Nicole came in hot, hot. I was like, girl, you might want to save some of this. I don't know if they do a reunion show, but, like, she was turned up. I can't remember. Up. I don't think they did a reunion. She was turned up throwing stuff like it was Love and Hip Hop bottles and all types of craziness going on. It was too much. It was too much. I don't even remember how it got so heated to the point. She left out and then came back. And through the bottle. She called me a prostituta. Yeah, that's how she started. She said, so, so Chantel, why'd you call me a prostitute? She said, because I've never seen none of your boyfriends. I'm like, so if you don't see nobody's boyfriends. Why she had to answer ready? Why she had to answer At least she didn't say she didn't call her that. Because people be lying. Yo. But I'm like, she already, just because you don't know anybody's boyfriends don't mean they a prostitute. Like, what? It was too much. It was too much to deal with uh, at that point. Uh they they called the cops they did call the cops they called the cops they the cops was the cops. like That's y'all wild. gotta deal with the courts this is a family that issue was wild. ain't nothing popping off right now the that police was not doing nothing hey someone at the hotel a la i'm like as a hey, if they speak english then they speak english go ahead but people showed up they took nicole out i don't know if it was cops and security from no, the show i but... think the security took nicole out and she and lydia had went somewhere else I don't know what Lydia was trying to get into. I, I don't know what she was on. I don't know what she was on. She was saying, she was basically, I couldn't tell if she was jealous or upset or both. Cause she was like, oh, this, so this is your family now. So yeah. they love you. I'm like, obviously Chantel loves her husband. Like they've been married for years. Like that's dumb to even say. I wasn't a fan of any of that for real. It was for awkward. Real. I feel like. For real, for real. I felt like there was no way for him to say anything in that moment without sound seeming disrespectful to his mom. Yeah. But his mom was like disrespecting his wife and his wife's family. Like, mm-hmm. and she, for me, it was like, you act like you wasn't just rejecting everything your son was trying to communicate exactly. and connect with you about. Exactly. And they are connecting with him about it. Mm-hmm. They're filling in where you were not trying to do it. And now you're tight. Not a fan. Still. To this day. To this day. So anyway. Uh, did ain't we nothing get, else happened. I was going to say nothing else really happened. Did we get to hear any more from Lydia or understand what her, what her. She said she don't have, she don't know if she have a son no more. I don't wonder. Yo, like, why are you just so like, you gotta, you gotta show some love. Like you gotta, like, there's so much confusion in this family that we need compassion empathy understanding explanations but for some reason lydia took nicole's side on everything i think 
think they just both had separate issues and they just came together as a of, of, against just hating because Pedro she, and Chantel. Yeah, because right, she okay. was like, I was very confused that everybody Lydia said stance. my issue is this, and Nicole's issue is the fight that Pedro got into with Alejandro. But Lydia was pro that fight. She was here for that fight I when still, it happened. I still, she was pro Pedro side. When yes. It so I'm like, now you gonna act like you wasn't like Team Pedro? Like that's weird. I don't understand. I don't understand. I feel like it's about to be some big stuff that come out. I think season four of Family Chantel, and let us know how you feel about it in the comments. If there's any predictions, I don't know if we want spoilers, but if you, I don't know if you know somebody, I don't know. But I really think that as we've hinted at already, really think that Lydia is hiding something that she's trying to cover up. I think she is. That she just don't like, again, she doesn't want to look bad or she doesn't want to look like the bad person or uh, like she got taken advantage of in any possible yeah. way, or like she made a bad decision. I it's clear that there was a bad decision made. Obviously, some going on, and somebody asked her about the letters again today. Yeah, Pedro asked her about the letters, and did we get a good explanation on that? No, we didn't. That's what Chantel called her out. She said, "Your son asked you a question, and you are avoiding answering the question." And that's when Liddy was like, oh, so you love him more than, you love him that's it. more than me. She was like, I love him. I love you because he love you. Like, and Liddy was not hearing it. It was a lot. It I'm just a- like, these people are crazy. You can't talk to irrational people. And that's what I said in the beginning, season one or 90 day mm-hmm. fiance okay. when they were engaged. I thought that the family Chantel was crazy, but I see stuff from their perspective now. Because she, it's Chantel, all of this is Chantel's fault. Oh, big facts. Because she had Pedro That's lying. That's why she got the show named after. Yeah, she had I, Pedro lying I to her family, which made that. them not trust him, right. which made them not trust his family, which the family clearly shouldn't have been trusted. Yes. But he didn't do nothing wrong the whole time. He was trying to be open and honest, and she was shutting him down. So all I'm saying is, this is all Chantel's fault anyway. It's all Chantel's fault. I'm sorry. It's unfortunate, uh, you know, people just want to be in love and share things with their family and learn more about themselves and they end up scrapping with random Dominican guys in the streets. Like, there's the, like what what can I possibly do? Pedro is, Pedro, has Pedro had to fight more than anybody in the show? Yeah, technically, because he fought River. Dang. Pedro, Hold such on, a, did, did Nicole such a, fight somebody he's else? He's such an oh, easygoing guy. It. Have her and Chantel fought before? In DR? I don't know. Or did we get some throwing? Some throwing stuff I think it was some throwing. That's happened in the past before. Yeah, but also you remember Nicole was on River 2. That Thanksgiving fight or Christmas fight or whatever. I I don't. I don't recall. When him and Pedro got into it, Nicole like scratched him. Like was on him too. Very, very vague. Because you remember the whole family. It was a whole family tussle. Yeah, the whole family. Yeah. Craziness. That was a mess. Craziness. Uh, I yeah, I don't have anything else to say about this episode. Wait, wait, wait. No. Uh, at the end, after all this BS has taken place, uh, Nicole happens to for some oh, again. You you see in the uh, in the clip, she's very proud of this fight. She even said herself, "Yo, I you know stood my ground. I don't know what to say. I'm just looking forward to getting back to my my one." My only, my king, Shalatan. We're going to move in together, have some babies, maybe. We're going to be in love together. I'm like, wow. And he's supporting all this. Yeah, yo, I don't know what he to said say. I, he did, I thought he said he didn't like that she conducted herself that way, Obviously. but he didn't blame her. But I saw him like, what man wants to be with a woman like your wife? Yeah. Your fiance that's out here tussling. tussling. Not only tussling, like, it's one thing if you out somewhere and you get into a tussle with a random person. No, you're tussling with your family. Yeah. That's wild. It's pretty wild. It's pretty wild. I'm not a fan again. That's so. not ladylike. That's just my it's opinion. Very, uh, see, I don't think the, it's ladylike. That's the biggest thing. And I would hope that uh, King Shout Out You ain't never seen me tussle with nobody. Up. I would hope not. If it's a tussle, it got to be like somebody jumping on you. I and then I'm, I'm coming not. in. Okay? I, I don't doubt that Jazz could fight a little bit. I don't, you know, just just a little bit. You see the brace. I defend. You see the brace. Don't do that. 
The uh, Brits. The Brits. <laughs> you see them, but I, yeah, I would. It's very, very, yeah. I'm, I'm, from, I'm not. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a verbal tussler. If I'm I have from the to hood, be, so know? I've seen girls pull out pieces of hair. And yeah, stuff like that, that's so that's not, just not cute. It's, I'm it's just not like, becoming. I was like, and yeah. Nicole is too old to be doing that. Yeah, and think and like, oh, I'm proud of myself. Like to disgusting. think that that's okay. Yeah, disgusting. that's not. And cute. just to go back to a charlatan and then be talking about, oh, I can't wait to spend our lives. To- he literally just got a divorce, supposedly. So I doubt that y'all about to get married right now. But that's neither here nor there. Strongly doubt it. Anyway, so yeah. at the at, towards the end, uh, we see Pedro dropping off the family Chantel to the airport, and he said he's going to stay in DR to, you know, wrap up he gonna hook, what he, he gonna came there to do. Come on. And he, uh, it said that he stayed there for like another week, and Pedro Senior never hit him back. Ever. Are we surprised? Not at all. Cause that's what Pedros do. Pedro's do. Thank you for finding another Unfortunately, word. Unfortunately, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I have I have nothing else to... It, again, a little bit anticlimactic. We yeah. thought we were going to get a little bit more out of yeah. this episode. I thought we was at least going to see Pedro Sr. I thought we was at least going to see Karama have to defend uh, herself from the family Chantel. But I do... We didn't... Uh, we didn't talk say about that, it, but yeah. uh, I think Karen immediately was like, "Yeah, I don't, I don't believe that." I was like, Come. "She was like, and Pedro has sex with Karima. Pedro didn't flinch. Nobody flinched. Come on, Come nobody on. flinched. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> we don't want to know." She was like, "I don't even believe that." Come on, we don't. What Pedro's this? It's a lie. It's a I lie. feel like I feel like uh, Chantel did feel a certain type of way though, because she said. And for her to come in here and say that you had sex with the Karima, I feel like that was like a probe to see what he was going. Pedro kept it cool. Yeah, yeah, he was like, even if even, if even if even if it possibly he happened, he kept it cool. It could have happened. Thank you, mom. It's a lie. Come on. <laughs> <How could> you... <laughs> I was like, yo, my man's my man's kept it so cool. She was like, and she said, she was like, and she said that you had sex with Karima. Trying to see if he flinched immediately. <laughs> this is a little laser, little laser eye. Action. I was like, he was not low. I, uh, I, yeah, I was a little bit disappointed, but I'm glad that we kind of ended on, did we end? We was, ended on a horrible, he was said, it a better he note said he than felt last like he, ga- he gained a wife, yeah. a family, oh, yeah. and lost a family. It's so I felt bad. I feel like this season ended worse than last season. Last yeah. season, yeah. they showed up like Cinderella and the evil yeah. aunties. Family. That was hilarious. I'm uh, not going to lie about yeah, that. Family. Family was torn apart in this in this yeah. in the end of this season. Uh, only family that was torn apart in the end of last season was just Anjanette's mom catfishing her brother. I guess I, I don't remember what the situation. I heard was. they had a baby. It's very possible. So shout out to baby royal Jeanette or whatever. Royal Jeanette. Yeah, there whatever the baby royal, whatever the baby's name, royal junior. I love how they royal started. Oh. I love how they started. Out with Miss Karen, oh, oh, oh. Young Rhythm Nation, Royal. pulling up to Royal's house. One more time, just cause. And we never got anything back about that. We never circled back on that. Never, because Royal was like not answering. I'm not doing this. He wasn't answering productions, phone calls. Don't probably. call me. Stop Don't call, call hey, me. Hey, Don't call me. Hey, <laughs> stop. Stop it. So let them have their baby in peace, the little baby Chantel or whatever. Yeah. And maybe we'll see next season what what happens. Maybe River will have a new girl. Winter might have. a Oh new... yeah, we forgot about that. Megan broke up with River. Yeah, last and he last was episode. yeah, but he was saying he was talking to his dad about it. This. Oh, that's right. Mister Thomas got some love in the last. Yeah, come on. He was just saying like it's her loss and like you're a catch. Yep. You know, and one day you're gonna find somebody that values you and sees you know has time for you. Big so. facts. I was like, Mr. Tom has been chilling and just working out the whole time they've been gone. How long have they been gone? Uh, they've been gone at least, I would say a couple of weeks, maybe. I'm not. I don't know about a couple of weeks. You don't think so? I think maybe a week or but something. I gotta, gotta show Nobody Mr. goes to DR about. for a couple yeah, weeks. Yeah, I know I got a picture of Mr. Tom's in here somewhere. There anyway. we go. Who else didn't I get in here? Let me get some, uh, just because I haven't used this in forever. Get Pedro or River chopping it up with each other. That's the end of it. And uh, you think Chantel and Nicole will ever get to that point? Oh, were they just kicking it? Nah, it would happen. I don't yeah, see I don't, it. I don't, I don't. I don't really see it either. I feel like River's pretty they mature. Actually fought, yeah, though. that's so crazy, bro. So crazy. River is completely different than Nicole to the point where, like, she. I don't think she's mature or ever will be mature enough to mm. to do that. 
So that has been our recap of the finale. We can wrap this up, but I I need to know from, I'm curious. Again, uh, I said River throughout this show has probably been one of my favorite characters of the family show. Yeah, River is the best. Uh, Winter stepped it up towards the end. Did anybody win this season? Did anybody come out on top? Is anybody doing well uh, after this season? I would say Winter. Winter is on top. She got rid of job. Yeah, she has some good advice towards the end as well. Yeah, yeah. She, she's she had a glow up. I feel like Miss Karen is 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 killing the game. Like she's what her was she spirit, not? Her spirit is just is just forever. What was she not killing the game? Yeah, I I give you that. I give you that. I give you that. But uh, yeah, folks, that is all I have. Anything else that you wanted to touch on before we leave? Nope. The good people, uh, people. I don't know how long we gotta wait for another season, but. I'm very, very excited about uh, how, not how it ended, but just in general, that I'm really into this show. I couldn't wait for the season to start. So looking forward to next season. Please make sure you... Like, comment, and subscribe. And keep tuned. Keep, stay tuned. Keep locked. I don't know. Make sure you're paying attention. Married at First Sight is coming back, and we're going to be reviewing that as well. Please let us know in the comments down below if there's anything else that you want us to talk about. And uh, we going, we going somewhere. Should I tell them? We'll tell them another time. No, uh, go but we're going to be doing some we're travel. We're going to be home. We, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, folks, that brings us to the very end. Make of sure like, y'all stay safe out here. I'm sorry. Oh, please wear your mask. Wear your mask. Wear your mask. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Take your vitamin C's and... Your ginger shots. Ginger shots. Get your little workout in safely. All that. Social distance. All that. All that. But, uh, yeah, that's a brand new episode of... The, the Jasmine. Jasmine Show. Peace out, y'all. Love y'all. Thanks for watching.